Morning. Good morning, Exa. Morning. Hi, good morning. How are you today? I'm fine because it's Friday. I know, me too. <laughs> yeah. So, teacher, I have a question about Tell last me. Okay. I shared yesterday in WhatsApp group. Uh huh. Uh, well, I think that is a mistake, but I'm not sure okay. about section two, two? point two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. And in, in this question. Uh, the bear meat and war, mm -hmm. but in the Aswara is meat and cooking or cook. So I think that is a mistake, but I'm not sure. And Tracy and Eric met when they were working at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Uh, I think it makes sense to me because you're like one event happened before the other one. Well, because uh, I think that is a mistake because in the other question, the bear with the answer is okay. So in this case, it's ring, run, cook, right. cook. Uh, because, um, I, but I don't know what you're trying to tell me. Why do you think there's a mistake? I'm sorry. Uh, because uh, in this case, it's cook, but in in the question is more. As war, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about the tenses. No, yeah, there is a mistake there. Yes. So I'm gonna uh, ask for it to be fixed today. Oh okay. all right, yeah, yeah, you're right. No, I was I thought you were talking to me about the tenses and I wasn't looking at the verb, but yeah, there is a mistake there. It needs to be changed. Uh, all right. Okay. So yeah, okay. let me let me um I mean yesterday I wasn't able to um get it fixed because I was like teaching all day at university, so it was very, very difficult. But I'm gonna do it today. All right. Yes. Okay. okay. I remember that. Yeah, thank you, Exa. Very good. Hi, Francisco. Good morning, Francisco. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm great. Actually, I'm very happy to see you. Mm, see you. I, yes. I'm happy to see you too. Yes. Very nice. So, is it raining by your house, guys, or it's not raining? No. Right now, no. That's it's good. not not raining. All right. Right now. Okay. Oh, that's mm -hmm. nice. Very good. Hi, Giovanni. Hi, Claudita. ¿Qué le pasó ayer, Claudita? What happened to you yesterday? <laughs> good morning, Hi, Claudia. Hi. Nice to see you. We missed you yesterday, Claudia. I'm like, oh no, where's Claudia? <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> yeah, that's okay, Claudita. Don't worry about it. Okay. Very good. So, guys, um, thank you for joining the class. Uh, hi Giovanni and I have Edito also. It's nice that you guys are with me so early in the morning. All right, that's a very nice way to begin your morning because your mind and your brain is fresh, okay? So all the uh, knowledge goes to you right to where it's supposed to be. All right, very good. So guys, um, 
we're going to talk today about section two all right we're not going to talk about like we're not going to talk about passive voice anymore not past not present all right but i don't know if you have any questions has it been cleared for you i know that for exa has been cleared because i i've noticed it has been doing the the examples very well and everything but i wanted to know about the rest of you guys are you like okay with the passive voice giovanni vero claudia do you have any questions whatsoever about uh simple i mean the passive voice simple past or the passive voice uh simple present do you have any questions or everything is okay okay all right very good all right so yesterday guys before we go anything further we were working on this one were you able we were not able to check this just remind me were we able to check this this was the second exercise did we check it or not we didn't check that one yesterday oh that was the before that remind me yes we check this right this we checked. Giovanni, do you remember if we checked this one yesterday or Vero? Uh, no, teacher. Uh, just the just the first exercise. Which it was this one. This was the first exercise, oh, wasn't it? Ah, uh, um, uh, yes, yes, yes. This is the first exercise, and we checked it, right? Yes. Okay, yes. so we did not check this one. Uh, no. Okay, very good. All right, very good. So we have Claudia yesterday. Um, I don't know if you had chance, Claudita, to watch the video, but anyway, yesterday we were talking about passive voice, simple present. The only difference is that we're going to use is or are and not was or were. All right, so that's like the only difference. The rest is the same. The object becomes a new subject the verb you use it with the verb to be in simple present plus past participle and then the doer of the action in case you know the doer of the action the rest is the same okay so then yesterday we had these two exercises we were not able to check this one so we're going to check it right now all right so we have for number one it says christopher columbus discovered america all right so um maybe i don't know who wants to do number one for me maybe maria maybe vero or claudia or, jo or giovanni or anybody can someone help me here please america was discovered by christopher columbus excellent america was discovered by christopher columbus why was discovered because on the active sentence this is simple past that's why all right number two the architect built the house. Uh, let's see, someone else to do it for me. Someone else to do this sentence for me? Mm -hmm. Yes, Maria, that's fine, yes. The house is <coughs> built by the architect excellent the house is built by the architect why is because built is in simple present all right so we need inactive so we need to switch it to simple present passive voice also very good number three my sister bought a magazine this morning claudita can you try to do that one please claudia yes uh, uh magazine was both this morning by my sister. Excellent, a magazine was bought this morning by my sister. All right, very good, all right. Let's see, Num the next one, people eat pizza in Italy. All right, Francisco, do you wanna try that one, please? Okay. Um, yeah. The people who was eat pizza in Italy. Mm, what is the object, Francisco? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Mm. Oh, I know a t-shirt. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. <but laughs> I, 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 I'm clear. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Blanca, can you try to do that one, please? Blanca, are you there, Blanquita? Yes. Um, good morning. Good morning. Uh, pizza is eaten by people in Italy. Excellent. All right. Pizza is eaten uh, 
by like in Italy by people, all right? But we know that it's eaten by people anyway. So pizza is eaten in Italy. Very good. Thank you, Blanca. Very good. Ne next one. They make cars and computers in Korea. All right. Maybe Vero can do it, or I don't know. Uh, X if you want to, or Claudita, whoever wants to do that one for me. Cars and computers are made in Korea. That's right. Cars and computers are made in Korea. Very good. Next one, the Egyptians built the pyramids. The pyramids were built by the Egyptian. By the Egyptians, right? Now, uh, you say where or are? Where. All right. Okay. But the, what? Um, this is in what tense? But, uh, the past of build is built, so this it should be simple present. It doesn't make sense because the Egyptians are not making pyramids anymore. But just because we're following the uh, the tense of the sentence, I think this one is is in simple present, right? Yes, I think that this past because the Egyptians. Yeah, they are not making pyramids anymore. All right, so it doesn't make sense. But that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. So. Uh, pyramids were built by the Egyptians. Very good. That's fine. And the uh, the last one. Uh, let's see who wants to do that one. Brave New World was written by Aldous Huxley. Huxley, right? Very good. Brave New World was written by Aldous Huxley. Very good. All right. So, um, guys, do you? I'm going to stop sharing this because I just wanted to check these sentences from yesterday. Do you have any questions about passive voice? Blanca, Francisco, Vero. Um, Francisco, I know that you, know, you, I mean, you haven't been able to be in class and everything, so that's why I'm quite asking you if you have any questions so I can help you right now. Or I can help you through chat, like on like WhatsApp or something if you have any questions. Excellent. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so. You're very welcome, Francisco. So today, guys, as I said, like at the very beginning of the class, we're going to go on with section two, all right? Section two is not going to be about passive voice anymore. Later, we're going to see passive voice again in a different tense, okay? But we already studied passive voice, simple present, passive voice, simple past. So today, we're not going to talk about passive voice anymore. We're going to go on with simple past versus past continuous or vice versa, which is the same thing. Uh, past continuous versus simple past. Okay. Now I have a question for you. When I had, when I say something in simple past, is the idea that I'm telling you over with, or is it in progress or in process? It's over. It's over. All right. Very good. All right. Um, can someone tell me what is the structure? of simple past sentences, affirmative sentences. What is the structure? How, how do I make a sentence in simple past? Good morning, Franklin. Morning, Giovanni, again. <laughs> All right. Mm, how, do, good morning. <laughs> how do we make affirmative sentence in simple past? What is the structure? Can someone tell me? I forgot. Subject. Yes. Plus, plus verb B. Yeah, okay. Plus Verb in past. Oh, okay. All right. So I need the verb be, Claudia, for simple past sentences. Ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All right. So, only uh -huh. subject, subject plus verb in simple past. Right, and then the complement, of course. Right. Compliment. Very yes. good. Thank you, Claudia. So I can say I wrote a book. I can say she went to Venezuela. I said he loved her. All right, I can say we studied passive voice yesterday, all right, and the activity is finished, it's done with, okay? And the only thing you need is subject, verb, it's simple past, and the rest of your sentence, which is a complement. That's affirmative sentences. What happens in negative sentences? How do I make the structure? Can someone remind me about the structure, please? Structure of negative sentences in simple past. Subject mm -hmm. uh, didn't. Right. Uh, the bear in present. Okay. And in complement. That's right. Very good. So the auxiliary that we have to use, guys, for simple past sentences is did. 
all right? When it becomes negative, we say did not or didn't, all right? So we say I didn't go, I didn't play, or you didn't come, all right? Or whatever the sentence that you are expressing is, all right? Just make sure that you remember that whenever you use didn't or did, because it's the auxiliary, you're not longer going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, the verb in, in simple past, but rather in uh, base form, all right? So you're not, I mean, you're not, using any simple past. You need to go back to the base form or the present tense of the verb, okay? And what happens in, good morning, Carla, and what happens in question? How do we make a question? Maria, Araceli, can you help me? Can you remind me how we make a question? Or Carlita, whoever wants to help me here. <clears throat> No, nobody I, knows. Yes, Maria, thank you. But I, um, I. How do we make a question in simple past? That's my question. Um, <clears throat> when do you? Now, what did you do? What did you do in, in, on Friday, on last Friday? Okay, so what did you do last Friday, right? Very good. So remember, thank you, Maria. So remember that we're going to have did because it's a question. All right, did and then the and then did you? Uh, the verb, I mean, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb, and then the rest of the complement. If you have a wh question, just like Maria said, you need to place the wh question word before the auxiliary. So what did you do? Where did you go? Uh, how did you like it? Or whatever question you're asking, all right? And that's simple pass. That's not a big deal, we understand it, okay? Now, what about past continuous? How do we make that? Or, or before, we, we, before we talk about it, when do we use it? How do we use past continuous? Is it an action that is already finished, completed, or done? Or is it an action that is in progress somehow? It's an action in progress. Okay, all right, it's an action in progress. Okay, now what you need to understand or what you need to remember is the past continuous is a past in the past, all right? So it's more past than the other one, all right? We wanna see it that way. So there's an activity going on in another activity. So I have this activity in simple past, but I have this one also in simple past that be, is like inside this one, all right? So there's an activity within another activity, both happening or both happened in simple past. And if you understand that, you're not gonna have a problem. For example, I can say, I was teaching the class, all right, when, I don't know, uh, the dog barked, okay? So there's two activities happening in simple past, in the past, all right? But one happened before the other one, all right? So if I say, I was teaching a class when my dog barked, which activity happened first? The class. Yeah, I was teaching the class and somehow my dog barked. Okay, so it got interrupted by another action, all right? So it's like you, you need to understand that process. There are two actions, but both of them are, they happen in simple past, and one was interrupted by the other one or happened at the same time as the other one, all right? So that's what we're gonna be talking about today, guys. I'm gonna show you this, uh, the PowerPoint I have for you here. This is what we're talking about today. Again, when we finish the class, I will send it to the WhatsApp group so you can have it. Past continuous versus simple past. When do we use each tense? Okay. I know you understand this, but this is like um, I need to guide you through it just in case you have any questions. Or, I mean, we need to do this so you guys can practice with me here. All right. So here we have use a simple, uh, use a simple use the past. If Continuous and the simple past here, right? Okay, so let's see. Um, Sophia, good morning, Sophia. 
Good morning. Good morning, Sofia. Do you mind reading? Use the simple past four right here. No. Okay. Use the simple past four. Action that action that happened in the past and is over, done, or finished. Right, very good. So as we already said, thank you, Sophia. The simple past, we use it for actions that are completed. All right. Next one, use the past continuous. Franklin, can you read that, please? Good morning, Franklin. Franklin, you there? Maybe not. Blanca, are you there, Blanquita? So you can help me read, use the past continuous. Okay. Thank you. Continue for action that was in progress at a specific point in the past or focusing on an action that continued for a long time in the past thank you thank you blanca all right so here we have actions that was an action that was in progress at a specific point in the past that's why i tell you that the past continues is a past within the past all right or number two, when focusing on an action that continued for a long time in the past, all right? And we're gonna see some examples here. Uh, let me just put this away so I can have it here. Simple past examples, these are not very difficult. Verito, Veronica, can you read these sentences, please? All right, Carla, do you mind reading? Carla, Joanna, do you mind reading these sentences? Uh, yes, good morning. Morning. Uh, example. Yes. Action that was completed in the past. Tommy went finish last week. Fishing. Fishing I, last week. Mm -hmm. Fishing in last week. I worked until 3 p.m. yesterday. Her family come to visit us last year. Came. Her family came to visit us last year. Very good. Continue, please. Uh, time expression frequently used with the simple past. Uh, yesterday, last, uh, past date in uh, 1992. 1992 ago, etc. Thank you. All right. Very good. So here are examples of simple past sentences. We all know what they look like. All right. So number one, Tommy went fishing last week. I worked until 3 p.m. yesterday. Her family came to visit us last year. All these three actions, they already happened and they are finished with, okay? So they, he went fishing last week and last week was last week, it's done with. Yesterday, today is the, the sixth and yesterday was the fifth, so it's over with. And her family came to visit us last year, even more past already, all right? So these are past sentences. Of course, we have expressions that help us understand simple past better, like yesterday, last week, last month, last class, last uh, weekend, last year, I don't know, last, I don't know, last course, all right? So we have, whenever we have last, we understand it's already done with, okay? Then we have past dates in 1992, in 1978, in 2005, in 2011. So whenever you refer to dates and they're already past, it's simple past. Then we have this special word ago, like two days ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, uh, a week ago, a class ago. So whenever you have ago, that means that it's simple past, okay? So we know this because we're familiar with simple past, all right? So let's go. Do you have any questions about simple past, guys, so far? No, we're okay? Excellent, thank you. All right, so here, let's continue here. Past continuous examples, all right? Um, someone else to read past continuous examples. Maybe Francisco, maybe Giovanni, Gabriela. Hi, Gabby. All right, anybody to read this Hi, one? teacher. Hello. Uh, Hi. Uh, past continuous examples. Action that was in progress as at particular point in the past. At uh, two, at uh, two? Yes. Yesterday, Tom was playing soccer. Carla wasn't home last night when I called her. I think she was working. Luisa and her husband were visiting us last week. Thank you, all right. So past continuous and the examples, all right. Remember that this past continuous tense refers to actions that were in progress 
at a particular point in the past, all right? So here you say, at two yesterday, at two o'clock yesterday, Tommy was playing soccer, all right? At that time, all right? So it happened for a longer period of time. Carla was at home last night when I called her. I think she was working, all right? So it's, it, this activity was happening while I called Carla, all right? Luisa and her husband were visiting us last week, all right? And they probably continue for a longer period of time, all right? Grammar structure for past continuous, all right? Someone to read this one for me. Yes. Um, here are some reminders about how to make the simple past and past continuous. Thank you, all right? So here we go. The past continuous, continue, Francisco, please. Okay, okay, the past continues. Don't forget that very B is far to the to of this this structure. I, he, she, it was you, we, they were plus bar in ing. I -N -G. I -N -G. I -N -G. Thank you, Francisco. Very good. So okay. you have to remember this that whenever we use the past continuous, just like the present continuous, we need to use the verb be. All right, but in this case, because it's past continuous, then we're going to use was or were, not am, um, not is, not are, because that would be present continuous, all right? So in this case, we're going to use was or I, you, I mean, I, he, she, it, and then you, we, they, we use were, and the verb was ing, all right? You cannot not do that, all right? You cannot say, I was asleep, or I, or she was eat, all right, or we were study. All right, you need to say we were studying. Uh, I was eating, she was playing. All right, so we need to have both tenses, I mean, both uh, verbs, like the to be verb plus the ing. The to be needs to be in simple past. All right, here, examples. Someone to read my examples, please. My dad was trying to call me last night, but I wasn't home. The children were studying last night at 9, 9 p.m. Yes. I was, I was cleaning my house all day yesterday. All right, very good. Okay, so if you notice, these activities, they happen in the past, all right? And probably they, they were in progress while other activities were happening. But what we know is that, I, for example, if I say, I was cleaning my house all day yesterday. Yesterday is already done with. But you know what I was doing yesterday. I was cleaning my house yesterday. And I cleaned it all day. So my activity was in progress for a longer period of time. All right? The children were studying last night at 9 o'clock. We know that nine o'clock is on, it's over with, and last night is also over with, but we understand that at nine o'clock last night, the children were studying, all right? So it's already finished, but that's what was, what the, that's exactly what the kids were doing or the children were doing at this hour, all right? Do you have any questions so far? Again, guys, right now, this is the intro topic for this one. Monday, because I don't see you tomorrow, and I don't see you Sunday, Monday, we'll continue talking a little bit more about this, okay? So don't worry that you, you think that it's going fast. Today is like the intro, all right? So this is like what we need to do today. All right, negative, uh, we have past negatives, all right? So here we have for this tense, simply add the word not after the verb be, all right? Remember that for this one, we're not using didn't, all right, we're using wasn't or weren't, all right? They were arguing last night. They were not arguing last night. She was yelling at him. She was not yelling at him, all right? So that's how we make negative uh, sentences in past continuous, all right? Always the to be verb in past plus not plus the rest of your sentence, remembering that we need to use the verb with ing, all right? Here, so this is very important because I, I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you know that are, um, you know, mm, let's see my question. Do you know what stative verbs are? Do you know what stative verbs are, guys? 
when I say stative verbs or non-action verbs. Do you understand those? Have you seen those before? Maybe, maybe not by name, all right? Yeah, because when we talk about grammar name, we're like, ah, I don't know what that is, right? But then we see them and like, ah, yeah, I know that, all right? It's stative verbs or non-action verbs are verbs that do not express actions. For example, feelings, for example, smell, senses, all right? I, I smell, mm, you know, I smell uh, the bake, the bread being baked, okay? I cannot, say, when I have a stative verbs or non-action verbs, I cannot have those in the continuous tenses, okay? I cannot say I'm smelling, it's not proper. We say it, but it's not grammatically correct. I smell, all right? So the same thing happens in simple and past continuous. There are stative verbs or there are verbs that you cannot use in the continuous tenses because they do not express an action, all right? So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna keep on showing you the, uh, the, the PowerPoint presentation, but also today after the class, I will send you a list of stative verbs that are very, very common that we misuse, all right? That we use them in the continuous tenses, but we shouldn't, all right? And some of them, some uh, stative verbs, yes, they, have, they, are, they, are, they are like the exceptions depending on the context, all right? So you have to know that because otherwise you're gonna be saying, I'm liking you. You cannot say, I'm liking you. You can't say, you say, I like you. All right, or I liked you before. I don't like you anymore, but I liked you five years ago. You cannot say I was liking you. All right, you can't because it's a sense. All right, it's a feeling. All right, so you, it's different when you say eating. I was eating. I am eating. Yes, because there's an action. But like, hate, mm, it, you can't. All right, so these type of verbs they are called stative verbs or non-action verbs. These verbs you cannot use in continuous tenses, not, not simple, I mean, not present continuous, not past continuous, all right? So I just wanted to uh, make that clear, and this is what we have here. Some verbs are not typically used in the continuous tense. Instead, we prefer to use these verbs in the simple tenses, simple present or past. These verbs are called a stative or non-action verbs. Here are some examples. There are more, all right? But these are like a few. For example, want, know, believe, forget, need, like, see, understand, remember, love, hear, have, for possession, belong, hate. These ones, usually, we don't use on the continuous tenses. You don't say, I'm wanting pizza. You say, I want pizza, all right? I say, you don't say, I'm believing in you. You say, I believe you, all right? You don't say, I'm understanding this topic. No, you say, I understand this topic, all right? So there's these verbs you cannot, usually we don't have them on the continuous tenses, all right? Depending also on the context, okay? Let's see. Uh, do you have any questions about stated verbs, guys? Did you know about stative verbs? Did you know about these verbs? I didn't know. Okay, all right. All right, but they exist and they are very important, all right? So we need to know about those. So after the class, I will send you not only the PowerPoint presentation, but also a list of stative verbs, okay? So you know them a little bit more, okay? Very good, let's continue here. I'm gonna continue here. All right, so here we have an example. I say, you, you say, I liked Rome, all right? I went to Rome last year, so I said, oh, I liked it, I like Rome. You don't say I was liking Rome, all right? You can't say that, all right? She had a headache. You don't say she was having a headache, all right? You can't say that. I knew the answer, you cannot say I was knowing the answer, all right? So it sounds weird. At the level that you guys are now, even if you didn't know that these verbs were called stative verbs, but you listen to this sentence and you're kind of wondering, what? That sounds weird. It doesn't sound good. All right, maybe you don't know the reason why, 
but it doesn't sound proper, all right? Uh, or if I say, I was liking, uh, I don't know, I was liking Guatemala, you're like thinking, really liking? I thought it was, I like Guatemala. All right, so sometimes we play by ear, all right? So that's, that's also good. But now you know that these verbs are called stative verbs and that you cannot use them on the continuous tenses. All right, here. Um, use past progressive with simple past to describe an action that was uh, interrupted by another action, all right? So they were enjoying the morning when the thief stole the briefcase, all right? So one activity happened before the other one, and then it got interrupted by the second one, all right? They were enjoying the, uh, the morning when the, the thief stole the briefcase, okay? So they were okay, and then the thief came and stole the backpack or the briefcase. Here we have this uh, timeline. This is past, this is now, and this is future. If you notice, both stole and were enjoying happens in the past timeline part, okay? Not on the now, not on the future. Both of them, both of these actions or activities took place in the past section, all right? Now, what happened first? They were enjoying or the, the, the briefcase got stolen? We're enjoying. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Yeah, very nice. Thank you so much. All right, another one. The man was reading the newspaper when the thief snatched his briefcase. All right, both activities happen in the past. Which one happened first? Was reading. Was reading. All right. Any other ideas? Or did they happen at the same time? No. The man was reading. The man was reading, yes. And then the guy, the thief is snatched. Do you understand snatched? Do you know what snatch means? Yes. Yeah. All right. Like take, you know, without like asking. All right. Like grab it. All right. Very good. Okay. So let's go on here. Um, we're actually going to do this one here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Well, the man was reading the prisoner. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions? No questions right now. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna ask you then to do this. All right. This is what I want you to do. I want you to take a picture of this. This right here. This um slide. We're going to do sentence one, two, three, four, and five. Five is already done for you. And I think this one. Oh no, this is the example. Five is already done for you, so you can do one, two, three, and four. And this is what I want you to do. You can use words like while and when, all right, to express that, uh, to join these two sentences or to join these two activities that took place in the past, all right? So number one, I want you to use talk and drink. Which one happened first is up to you. And which one interrupted the other one is up to you. The same thing for shine and splash, the same thing for play and watch, the same thing for not look and burn, and you can do five and don't look at the example, you can have another sentence for that, okay? And then I want you to do this one too. Today we're gonna to have time to do this. Can you guys please take a picture of this right now? I'll just, uh, oops. You cannot see now, can you see number one? Okay, okay. All right, finish taking the picture. Perfect, okay, yeah, so yeah. here again, you're gonna read the sentences, all right, and then you're going to, is it gonna be simple past? Is it gonna be past continuous? You decide according to what the context is and according to the sentence. And here, uh, we were saying here that you have two actions. You decide, for example, if I'm working with Claudia, we decide, okay, Claudia, what activity happened first? Talk or drink? All right, and then what if we decided drink, then the other one interrupted, right? Or the other one happened within the other activity, all right? I'm gonna stop sharing right now, all right? So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna send you guys to your groups so you can work on that right now. All right, here we go. I'm gonna be checking on the groups in case you have questions.
and don't feel shy to ask if you have not understood the topic or if you want me to repeat something. Hi, Veronica. Hi, teacher. Eh, tengo dos usuarios. Ah, okay, Vero. All right. But you're in, a, in one group already. Con Giovanni. I mean, sorry. Okay. Right. Hi, Casey. Hi, teacher. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Vanya. Hi, teacher. Quiero ver, tengo una. Uh, Vania and Gaby, did you finish the other exercise or you want to do this one first? Ah, this first. <laughs> yeah, this ah. one right here. It was, that's okay, uh, with the two actions happening. All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Vania, you know that when I was pregnant of my second girl, I wanted to name her Itchel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, the pronunciation is Itzel. Itzel, all right. Okay. All right, and it means moon, right? Yes. Yeah, but you know what? Then we decided to name her Luna, so her name is Luna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my girl's name is Luna Celeste. Oh, Qué bonito. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Very good. Okay. The first activity, I think so, is talk. Okay. While the woman was talking, Sí, vea. Yeah. At the lunch, maybe? At the lunch. <coughs> es que mira, la primera dice, while the man was reading, the prisoner was stealing his wallet. Entonces es como, es como, 
Oh. Ah, no, es que no es de woman, es... Why? Ella, vea. Uh -huh. They were talking. Talking. No sé, the waitress, waitress es mesero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. The waitress, ¿cómo decir? Llevó, mm. llevó sus bebidas. Pero es que no sé si está bien. Bring yes. Teacher is correct. While they were talking, the waiters. No, 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 I'm here. I'm here. I don't know if I confuse, mm -hmm. but I think so. Uh, the the sentence is the, se the why while, while they were talking. The waiters breed the breeding was wearing the drink. Well, they, well, they were talking. The waiter brought the drink. Brought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. You can say that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one activity happened while the other one was, you know, in progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's B R O. Ajá, eso no buscan. <risa> B-R-O-U-G-H-T. B-R-O-U-G-H-T. Ah, sí. That's right, yes. Yeah. The waiter. <risa> siempre me confundo, siempre cruzo. Ah, sí. really? <risa> Always, yes. Okay. The waiter. The drink. Uh, uh, see where? See. Shine flash. I'm gonna go check another group, girls. Okay. 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 In case you need help, let me know. Okay. Thank you. Shane in a splash. Hi, teacher. Hello, yeah. uh, I, I have a question. Yes. Uh, the two verbs uh, is in past continuous. No. Uh, One of them is going to be in simple past, Claudita. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. The example is the two verbs. Yeah, the two verbs. Yeah, that's why I yeah, that's why I said that um you could change it and not follow the example like this one. I think. Oh, okay. Can you can you show me the one that is up on top? The other example, Claudia. Uh, Araceli is true. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Both of them are in, in 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 past progressive. That's okay. But what I want you to do, for example, you say uh they were talking when I don't know when they drank the coca-cola all right I, uh, like one activity happening before the other one uh, i think the while the women was drinking the waitress talked all right okay while well, the women were drinking right uh-huh we're drinking yes okay thank you uh, um, uh, this is, yeah we're drinking and then here you need to pluralize it with e. Women, in plural. Uh -huh. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, this one, the, the change the a to e. It it's is w o m e. Mm -hmm. Hi, Juan Carlos. Hello, Juan Carlos. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. Excellent. Juan Carlos, do you have an idea of what's going on? Uh, a little bit? <laughs> yes. All right. So we're using, we're talking about past simple versus past continuous, Juan Carlos. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. okay. So when we do that, there is an action. Um, there's an action happening while another one took place, or vice versa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. So remember that when we use um, past continuous, we're going to use the past of our V plus ing of the following verb. Okay. Um, Claudia and Maria, in case you have any other question, let me know, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, right. hi Sofia. Hi, Blanca. Hi. hi. How are you girls doing? <coughs> we and I don't know, we don't know if the first is or is okay, this one. Mm. So here, Sofia and Blanca, you need to decide which activity happened first. Do you think he was falling on the ladder while he was like he painted the ceiling? Or um, he fell off the ladder while he was painting the ceiling? George was painting the lid. Well, he, or you can say, um, Sophia, you can also say George fell off the ladder while he was painting the ceiling. Right? Yeah, okay. So here, Sophia and Blanca, you need to decide. I mean, you need to see the sentence and decide what makes more sense. All right. Whatever makes more sense, then you then after that you decide whether or not you're going to use it in simple past or past continuous. Okay. Your ice cream. The third is TV when I do. Mm. Watch, watch, watch TV. Watch TV. Uh -huh. You watch TV when? Uh uh. It's a question, girls. Yes. Blanca and Sofia, I'm sorry. Just check the spelling or the simple past of the verb fall and the verb here. Yeah. For number one and number two. Mm. Uh-huh. Fall is spell F-E-L-L, -L, no E-D. Uh-huh. And change the A for E. E-L-L. -L. Very good. L. Double L. No L. No T. Yeah, there you go. Very good. Super. And then here is no E-D. It's um, heard. Only D. R-D. <laughs> Rd. That's right. Yes. Very good. Super. Nice. Very good. Okay. I'm going to go check another group, okay? Okay. Thank you. The break of Ah, sí, va porque es como la... wasn't looking. The brief, de, como de brief, o no sé, del pan. No sé, oh, tostador. Why are you guys speaking Spanish? Sorry, teacher. Ajá, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, Giovanni, what happened, Verónica and Carlita? No Spanish, hello. <laughs> es que... No sabíamos que era lo que estaba ahí quemándose. Oh, my goodness, it's a bread, it's a, the toast, it's a yeah. TV. It's a TV, no. teacher. It's a toaster. Oh. The toaster oh. and inside is the toast, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, Carla, Vero, and Giovanni, I have an observation for number one. When Veronica oh. was drinking, her friends was or her friends were? Uh, 
one one friend. One. Okay. One. Then the, the letter S in friends. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Giovanni, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> so no S on friends, right? Only one. One uh, friend. Only friend. Yes. Uh -huh. Right, yeah. Or if you have a pluralized set, you need to switch it to were. As we're talking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right, very good. Super. Okay. Uh, where my mom was looking. What I'm looking. The fourth teacher is is good. Where my mom wasn't looking. Uh huh. My son or her son? Oh, what? Uh huh. There you go. Very good. Her son. Excellent. Yes. Uh -huh. Some burn. The the dust. Mm -hmm. Uh, was I don't know. <laughs> toaster, just how it sounds, uh, Giovanni. T O A T E R S. Toaster. toaster. In the in the chat, Giovanni. <laughs> I I write it in the, the in the chat. Yeah, I wrote it. In the chat. <laughs> uh, I don't see the chat. Oh no, Giovanni. <laughs> What happened, uh, Giovanni? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, -A -A -S -T. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Uh huh. Yes. Ah, that's very. Uh, when my mom was looking her son, the bread has burning, burning the toaster. No. I, I think it makes uh, sense like this, Carla. When my mom uh, wasn't looking, her uh -huh. son was burning the toaster. Yeah, it's okay. Well, she was talking on the phone, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In the last sentence. Mm -hmm. um, guys, for number three, also watch. You have friends, it's plural, and then you have was. I don't know if you're going to pluralize it or leave it singular. Singular. Yeah. And the ball, the spelling of ball, it should be B A L L. When the man was playing, his friend was watching the ball. A. It's not O. Do it's you? Not o. It's A. A. Excellent. Very good. In the last, in the last, we talk and sit. Hi, my mom. Was talking uh -huh. in the phone. Uh -huh. In the number five, ya está. But do you want to know the one to buy? Yeah, the one to buy. Yeah, the one to buy. That's okay. Uh, no, no, that's fine. You know what? For number one, I think it would be better if you guys add, for example, when Veronica was drinking, her friend was talking about her problem. Okay. All right. Okay. Nice sentences, guys. You see, you got a sticker. Very good. I don't know you guys, but I feel the hour goes by very fast. It's almost time to go already. Oh my goodness. Very, very fast. Yeah. Yeah. You you in the in the okay. The exercise number two. Yeah, begin number two. You have like two minutes and then we have to go back. Okay. Jones. Okay. Fall on pine. Pain. 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 Yes, pain. Pain. Your your was. was painting on the ladder. Oh. Why he was falling the cell 
sailing. What is, what is the mean sailing? Is, sailing is the techo. Ah, ah, no. A entonces, ladder is a escalera. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. No, entonces, yours was for falling. Mm -hmm. Was falling off the ladder. ladder. Mm -hmm. Um, why he was painting now, the same. Uh, uh, guys, in this no. in these sentences, now here you need to use one in simple past and the other one in past continuous. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you have to decide which happened first or what happened first. What makes sense yeah. better? Yeah. The second verb is um, simple. Does it make sense? In so, the so, second or the one? Uh -huh. For me, the second, because the first is falling. The first me item the first. is falling. Ah, falling, the, the finish, the action. Ah, uh -huh. sí, porque yeah. si no iba así como en slow motion. Ah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. so okay. you're, 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 Ah, okay. Shane? What is Shane? Fell. George fell. fell off the ladder while he was painting. Se cayó de la escalera mientras pintaba, right? Yes. Okay. Fell. Uh, F E L. No, no, no. F E L L. Yeah, fell off the ladder while he was painting the ceiling. Excellent, very good. Guys, we need to go back because I need to take attendance right now, okay? Thank, okay. thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're doing great. Hello, guys. Hi, hi. Hello. Hi, all right, guys. So, um, how was it? Were you able to finish one or both exercises? Just one? Only one. Only one. Only one? Both. Both. Excellent. All right. Very good. Okay. Because of time, we're not going to check them right now. All right. Because it's like one minute before you guys have to go. And I need to take attendance. Okay. But Monday, we're going to check everything. All right. Both exercises. Okay. If you have okay. time, try to, do an, try to do the ones that you're not finished at home. And then we can check them Monday. Okay. But if not, we can do it in class together. Um, Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Carla Beatriz, no? Carlita, Carlita? All right. Veronica Beatriz Celso? Present teacher. Osmani Xabu de Leon? Present. All right. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas? I'm here. Blanca Estela Marroquín? Present. Franklin de Jesus Martinez? Thank you, Franklin. Carla Joana Martinez? Present. Thank you. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores? Present. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramirez? Present. Danila Estela Silva Morán? All right. Maria Araceli Gonzalez Flores? Present. Cinia Elizabeth Mejia? Sofía Guadalupe Hernández? Present. Eh, Juan Carlos Molina Martínez? Present. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Claudia Iliana. Casum? Present. Brenda Lucia, Rosa, Lucia Rosales Guzmán. Present teacher. Karen Lisset Reyes. All right. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. Present. Thank you. All right, guys. I will let you go. I know you have to work. Thank you so much for being with me one week. All right. I hope you have uh, liked the classes and you have enjoyed them. I will see you on Monday. Please work on the platform. And I'm going to fix that extra, all right, later today. All right. And then you keep on advancing on your platform. Have a great weekend, guys. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.